A higher risk profile of the company based on ESG indications means a lower valuation for the company. I'm here today with Andrea Palmer, Responsible Investment Lead, Global Real Estate Securities, PGGM. How does PGGM integrate ESG data into its investment decisions, and are there any particular challenges surrounding that? Yeah, thanks, Diane. So, pleasure to be here. Um, yes, we, we integrate ESG into various steps of our investment process, and one step a little bit previous. Um, we're an actively managed listed real estate portfolio, so we're underwriting all the companies that we invest in and actively selecting them for our portfolio. Um, so we have integration for ESG in various stages of our investment process. The first one is in the universe selection, actually. So um, we start with the FTSE Upper NAREIT unscreened, and then we actually choose to uh, exclude some companies on the basis of ESG upfront. Um, so that's the first uh, stage in the investment process where this is directly integrated. Um, and then the other ones, we have two other important stages. And the first one is valuing the property portfolio of the REITs. And the second one is valuing the corporate wrapper around the REITs. So for the part where we value the property, that's done in the cash flows. So that's we, we project growth for these REITs, we project debt for these REITs, um, and ultimately cap rates for these REITs. So that's a part where it's integrated into the, the property portfolio component. And then in the corporate wrapper component, we also make an adjustment to the required returns. And that is basically an adjustment to the discount rate for which we use in our discounted cash flow, ultimately leads to a higher risk a higher risk profile of the company based on ESG indications means a lower valuation for the company. So that's a, that's a, those are the direct ways for which we are integrating. And how would you describe the progress made by the REIT industry to date with regard to implementing decarbonization strategies? I think we're seeing just about everything. So we're seeing everything from very, very good, where we learn a lot from them. We, we, yeah, that's, those are there's some very impressive bits of progress that we're seeing. And then we also see companies that are, are still in the very early phases. So it's a very kind of open answer, but actually we see everything still. And to what extent do you see the transition to a low carbon economy as a risk for commercial real estate going forward? Excellent question. And I think it connects very well back to the integration question because we do see it as a risk. Therefore, we directly price it in the risk premiums for the companies. So it's directly um, in the required return, which is a reflection of the risk. So, so that's something that we're baking in directly, directly to the valuations um, because we see it as a risk. We see various property types having different risk profiles for these things um, based on their energy intensity characteristics, based on the location characteristics. So we're trying to calibrate those additional risk premiums based on what we know about the companies.